What's up guys, Uri for NYC back with another video. Uh, today we're just going to do a quick update on the tanks, what's going on with the new build, the progress on a new build, and I guess where we stand with both my tanks. So let's jump into the frag, water box frag 55.2. Uh, same, same as the other videos, tank is doing well. Uh, added a few more corals in here. Um, you probably can't even notice because it's just packed with stuff. But my clothes are doing really well. And I wish I could get up my orange filter, but it, it's like electric clothes up there. We got some up there, got some over here. Uh, we got some green ones here, actually, right there. We can focus. There we go. Um, but yeah, tank is doing well. People are asking me, what are these? So basically, these are um, heater, what is it called? Suction cups? Yeah. So just the heater suction cups, or just suction cups in general. And they're great for just holding a single frag. Uh, these haven't fallen off at all, unless a snail has knocked them off, but they've been staying put on the glass. So I'm just waiting for my other tank to uh, be built out so I can clear out all these, when you do these, these suction cups on my on my window, my window, my glass. <laughs> but um, yeah, just, just suction cups. Uh, if you were trying to hold on like a single frag, uh, they're great if you want to get like GSP or like these um these clove polyps to go on your walls, like they're great for that. Um, I have I have seen my clove polyps and GSP grow on the glass, the back walls, uh, just by placing the suction cup. So if you want to invest into, if you don't want to invest in a frag holder or a frag, a single frag um, plug, those can be like twenty something bucks just for a single one, which is weird. Um, but yeah, definitely invest. I think like a six pack or 12 pack was like five bucks. So definitely worth the investment just to have them uh, in general if you want to grow out some stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the frag. Um, you can see the fresh water tank on top. Nothing too crazy up there. I got to do water change in there. As you can see, sometimes, um, so I do a weekly water change, suck up all the algae in there. Uh, but the fish are doing really well in there. So no complaints. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, I think that's it for the freshwater tank and the water box. All right, so next, um, glad to say the Red Sea Reefer 250 has been sold. Um, thankfully, the owner has given me some time to break down the tank, do the transfer and everything. So hopefully I can show you guys how to transfer whatever livestock to the next tank. Um, I'm probably going to do a quick cycle because I am going to use some of the rocks and seed the tank maybe for about a week. Uh, so the bacteria transfers over and all that kind of stuff onto the carob sea life, the carob sea life rock. Um, as you know, carob sea life has bacteria on the rocks, but has to be activated with water and all that kind of stuff. But obviously, I already have established rock in there, so might as well speed up the process. So it's going to be a quick cycle, uh, probably going to be like a day or two, honestly. Uh, maybe even shorter. Um, but yeah, as you can see, look, there's no cyano. There's no cyano anywhere, which is crazy. So highly suggest if you want an easy way to get rid of your cyano is use the Dr. Tim's Waste Away gels. Um, you can't overdose it. You can't, you know, nuke your tank with it. Um, it's not a paid sponsorship or anything. I just wanted, to, I bought it just to test it out on the tank, uh, just for content purposes and just trying to see if it actually works. But yeah, honestly, it has been working. I haven't done anything else too crazy to adjust it. Um, just do your water changes and all that kind of stuff, and then you'll be set and good to go. Um, I got a new, so my local fish store was having a really crazy sale. Got a purple firefish. I shouldn't have gotten him because honestly, we're doing the breakdown and tank transfer. So hopefully he survives the transfer when we get over to the next one. But yeah, this tank is doing really well. This is a massive Nephia. If you guys are in New York and want to frag, let me know. Got you. Uh, I can definitely spread this around for sure. So let me know. Um, probably like cheap frags, like $10 frags or something like that. Or or honestly, if you want to trade frags, it's all good. Um, got some toadstools in here as well. So those toadstools in there is the same one. Oh, it's not even open. Same one that's over here. Um, what else I got? Got the, the Ghani frag. So this Ghani frag was freaking dying in my tank. And it's actually, the base is surviving, which is pretty cool. So I just got to clean it up a bit. So hopefully it can cross this over. Uh, the dead skeleton but it looks like it's uh stabilized for now uh obviously we got the i forgot which chalice this is it's the the one everyone has you guys know just leave it in the comment section 
Uh, another SPS here. Let's move this out of the way. Uh, I can see it's growing in the back. Why is my autofocus on for some reason? Um, but that's growing on there. Again, got these suction cups. Just hold it perfectly fine. Got the green torch. So this green torch is actually in my other tank, but I moved it in here just to test the parameters. And it's actually been really, it's been really big in this tank, which is cool to see. Um, as you can see, the red bubble tip anemone has moved to the center of the tank, um, which is fine. Like I gotta figure out how to keep it stable once I move it over. How do we, how do we give it its own island or something like that? We'll we'll figure that out. Um, also got some baby ones in here, as you can see. Got two of them in there. So cool to see it's splitting. Um, next, I want to talk about how. Well, not next. Uh, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna transfer our over the controllers, the Hydro's controllers, um, into this stand. So I got this stand from Ikea. Um, it's gonna match the new tank and new build. Um, I guess I'm keeping it under wraps, but uh, it's supposed to arrive tomorrow. So definitely check out my IG stories. Uh, I'll probably have the, the tank that I got um, in my IG stories and just show you the unboxings and all that kind of stuff. Probably gonna do a video on that too, but um, yeah, gonna use this this uh, little storage cube to put the controllers in there. Um, so I'm gonna figure that out. So I probably gotta dismantle this, put it on a board, and it runs through into the new new tank. But um, yeah, shouldn't be too hard. I'm just been haven't been haven't been active in doing it. Um, let's see what else. Got the RODI, got the reservoir there. But yeah, tank is doing well, surprisingly. Um, I think the tank has actually stabilized, so it's in a really good place right now as far as like nutrients and nitrates and phosphates. I gotta buy a new test kit actually when I get the new tank um, so I can test the ammonia and the cycle and all that kind of stuff. But I'm using Algae Barn's like quick cycle. It's in like a nitrogen cycle. So it should, it says it should be ready within five days. I'm probably gonna be ready even sooner than that because like i said we're going to be transferring over some of these rocks just to uh build up the um bacteria that's on these current rocks onto the new rocks so that should be a quick cycle what else can we say yeah i think that's pretty much it guys like i said as always thanks for uh following me thanks for watching my videos uh check me out on instagram at reefer underscore nyc you already know my YouTube, I'm on TikTok, on all the social platforms. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe as always. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. Peace.